Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. I consider it an honor to be here with you today. And uh, I did give you or leave you a little pen there on your table to let you know that we really do appreciate you and thanks for the job that you do. Uh, I know many times the word may not go out, but I appreciate what you do. I really do. Let's look to the Lord in prayer today. Our Heavenly Father, we're truly grateful unto you for your many, many blessings upon us. The beauty of the day today and just your goodness to us, Father, we're truly grateful. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this team of leadership that is before us today. Father, we pray, Lord, that you'll just help them today have the wisdom of God and the mind of Christ. And Father, in everything that they do, that you'll just give them direction and guidance and just let everything be worked out peaceably and all their decisions they make. Father, we do appreciate them and we lift them up today and give blessings to you for them. Help them in all that they do, dear Father. And we will truly give you praise, glory, and honor. We we'll ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Once again, thank you. My apologies, Pastor. <laughs> thank you, Pastor. <sighs> okay, we'll get right into our agenda. We have citizens time. We have three people that signed up. First person is Todd Hyatt. <clears throat> Good morning. 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 How are you? Morning. Good. My name's Todd Hyatt. I live at 351 Blue Sky Drive with Bill Virginia. And I'm here, found out that uh, First Call Animal Services applying for a permit to come into the county. I work for Guardian EMS. I've worked there for 10 years. They've tried to provide it to my family for many years. There's no need for another animal service to come in here. Uh, it would hurt us. It would hurt the employees there. 65, we, we got 65 employees, and 90% of them are with county citizens. And there's not enough business here for another animal service to come in. Y'all let, you know, before you had Trinity come in, you had numerous other agencies come in. They get here, they see that, you know, they're gonna, gonna make millions of dollars out of the Wood County because there's, the need's not there. Uh, Richard and Ambulance Service is already in here with us. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but they're operating in the town or the county. They applied for a license through the town, so you know, that's already hurting us. And I'm here just to fight for my job and say that there's no need for another animal Service in here. Uh, we cover back up for Wick County. We're their second due out. We cover all the George Wick home football games, free of service. You know. And I just like to say that I hope y'all can take consideration and not let them come in because there's no need for them. And <coughs> if, if it does, it's going to hurt, hurt us. So, thank you. Uh, next person is Donnie Widener. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good morning. Good. Um, Donnie Widener, Chief Operations Officer for Guardian EMS. I live at 169 Pineview Drive, and I have a little letter tonight. Yes. And that this is kind of a rundown of our services and everything. I think most of y'all are familiar with our service. Um, we've always worked great with the county. Um, we've already got mutual aid agreements. In place. Uh, as far as the EMS is here in the county, I think it's the best it's ever been. The model form and everything we've went through in the past couple of years. Um, we're at a, I think, at a stance now that they're, uh, Call response time has got better. Um, there's no rollover calls. If there is, it's already in place. As Todd said, there's first, second, and third due. Um, just kind of reorient but with, with what Todd was saying is there really, for personally, there's not a need for another ambulance service here in the county. Um, it's just like if you bring in three different hospitals, 
Uh, there's just not enough business for everybody. And so there, it's going to start affecting other agencies. Um, there's uh, other counties that I can give you information on that are actually looking into this also. One of them being Galax, Grace, and Carroll, where they're actually putting a resolution in to keep other agencies from coming in. Because these other agencies are just trying to come in and feed on. They don't have any local ties. We've been embedded with the community for almost 25, well next year will be our 25th year here. And we're embedded in the community. And these other services, as Todd said, Richardson's Animal Service, which are out of Marion, they got a business license through the town just recently. We didn't know anything about it. But they don't even have a physical location here. They're not planning on putting a physical location here. They're going to stay in Marion, and they want to come in here and, you know, just try to take the business away from us. So, as you all know, I'm dedicated, both paid and volunteer. I've been doing it going on, I don't want to say maybe, but 30 years now. And, like I said, this is my life also. Um, but if we could have your support, um, just to just keep it up from other agencies coming into the county. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Donnie. Donnie, I'm going to take this up now. I know it's... There's a letter in our package uh, now, and I, and I really don't know if we need to give permission for non-ambulatory services, and I'm going to refer it to the county attorney to, to see if we do even uh, need to have to give permission. Yeah, I'll get to it and get back to you. Okay. <coughs> Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, if I may, yes. uh, Guardian has been a, basically an essential service for the county every time we've ran into problems with another, with a rescue squad. Uh, Guardian has always stepped up and provided that service. Uh, anytime that the county, during my tenure, have been here, anytime that I've asked, or the county's asked, or I've asked on the county behalf, uh, they've been more than responsive in helping us and doing what it takes to be sure the citizens of the county are covered. And uh, we've always, Donnie, appreciated that. Guardian's done a great job for us. Uh, and as f the reason I don't think we've ever had to take up Richardson that's in the town now is they don't have a physical location in the county and it which sort of circumvents the rules of asking whether they can uh, need a certificate of need from the county. So, but. And I don't know, maybe, I don't know if something you can look into, but I know the city of Gallagher they're doing a resolution, and basically it says that the, the ambulance services and the, the um, already the rescue squads, where they're already practicing or already doing their in county, they're making a resolution that that's the primary services. I don't know how they want to word this, but where no one else can come in, they're actually doing a resolution. They see that they like. keep, keep this other ambulance service out. I know for a fact. Okay, we'll we'll look into. The that and discuss it. Okay. May I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, is Richardson being dispatched by the 911? No. No. No, there is another private animal service that's just kind of coming to the county. But no, and they're not being dispatched. We're the only ones that's being dispatched to the county. Okay. Who, uh, and that's you with know, our mutual aid contract and anything like that. Non ambulatory search, you're, you're saying the nursing homes are, are just calling them to do transports? Not emergency transportation, Dallas's doctor visits, so forth like that. And I don't know what the intentions of, I know, like I said, and I made it speak out of term, but I do know first call, their history, that they would like to come in and take over all the business, 911. So it's actually going to, it may affect the rescue squads as, as, in a later in the future. That's why the city of Gatelax is putting a resolution in now stop that from the future. So um, I know their history, they may come in and try to take some of the emergencies and I, you know, from there I don't know. But now, Mr. Chairman, that is one thing that the board decides is who who 911 dispatches yes. mm -hmm. and who they don't dispatch in the territory that they have. Right. Okay. Right. So I don't know if you could do like a resolution to keep this from, you know, from another animal service or another agency trying to come in and, you know, do this in the future or Donnie, where's this first call group out of? I mean, I, I saw it in the ward package and, and read it over. I, they didn't identify where they were coming from. They actually took over Lifeline and Lost Service. If you remember what Lifeline was in Christian, Christian, Christian area. Where? Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So they just, they just see it as a business opportunity and they just try to, to go in and you know, try to disrupt the EMS system and go from there. Sounds like they're sending letters everywhere and they, hoping they, to get a few they yeses. Are, so. They are. They are. And like I said, uh, Carol Grayson's already got the ball rolling the third award. They've actually supposed to have a meeting in the very near future if they've not already had it to put this resolution in place to keep them from, from coming in. So, so, Mr. Chairman, let me make sure I understand what, what your request to the county attorney was, is to see whether or not the board has to approve a non-ambulatory ambulance service coming in. Correct. So like transportation and, and that sort of thing, like Mr. Widener was talking about. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thanks for uh, next person is Ms. Linda Myers. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, there's an article that's very interesting about Pathways to Technology, and um, I thought you'd like to perhaps look at it and then pass it along to the school board. I see the gentleman, the new superintendent, is going to be here. I'll have some extra coffee. Um, it, it might help. Okay, thank you. Is that all, Ms. Myers? Yes. Okay, with no one else. Yes, sir. Come on up and state your name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now that's Either, okay. Maybe old age and ignorance, I, I should have signed. Just state your name and address, please. I'm sorry. I live in Rural Retreat. The reason I'm here today is I'm representing my son who lives on uh, Old Stage Road where the water line utilities were put up there just recently, a year or so ago. Um, he had a sinkhole on his property which was used as a landfill. Uh, Eastern Tank, uh, I approached them as they came out South Fork and started up the old stage road, concerning that if they would like, they could waste material on his property. And the only stipulation that I, and I talked to the superintendent, who I had worked for while working for the town of Whitfield, and that's another story. Anyway, I addressed him and I told him, I said, Mr. Sawyer, I'll take you up and show you the place. He said, uh, he went and looked at it. It was great. It got what they needed down below Johnny Lane, about 150 yards. It was, was going to really be handy for him. Plus, they was hitting all the wrong So, so anyway, they, they built it. They used it for five or six months. Uh, in the meantime, right across the road, uh, my brother-in-law owned a lot there, and uh, he had a gentleman come in from Max Meadows or Fort Chip or somewhere and take out, uh, excuse me, and cut slope there and laid it back so he could put an entrance in there later on and tie on to the county water system. Uh, Mr. Sora, the superintendent, said, uh, I told him that I wanted him to, uh, when they got through it, all we ask you to do is grade it and put some topsoil or some material on it and see. It. Uh, well, they went on, and uh, my brother-in-law had that part of, the, of it hauled off. What they took off that cut slope, they brought right across the road and put in our on my boys in that, in that same landfill site. And uh, uh, superintendent asked me, said, uh, Larry, to uh, you all and your son, and he had talked to my son previously sometimes uh, about it. And uh, he said, I'll, uh, I'll uh, stay back and we'll uh, let you brother all this, put his good material, which was good clay material, over on the side and we'll use it for the grade material. Uh, in the meantime, they were going to have Johnny Lane. And of course, you know, I don't have to tell y'all how they improved that. It was super good. They needed some material, which that uh, good material was stored on the side of the slope. And uh, so they hauled a little bit out of there and took out Johnny Lane, which was fine with my son. Uh, about November, or the last October, November of 2014, they moved a D4 dozer in there and, and had good intentions to break it off. And I feel sure they did. Uh, but weather turned back. Rain, snow, and it's leaded all winter. And that's that's what transpired here until February. 
I've been to the office several times and talked to Rhonda out here and they were, they've been very helpful. Uh, also, Billy came out and looked at it and uh, they left stumps about 10 feet on the property line separating Jeff Duncan and my boy's property and uh, they were going to bury those but uh, they couldn't get, get to it on account of weather and they came with a little boy and moved it to Hills. They have since been over there. I don't, uh, for uh, maybe a year or so. But uh, I asked them if we possibly the county had the tainage, you know, because I was worried about the book and they absolutely wasn't going to come back. I, I've been there and done that. Uh, and sure enough, I called them January and February and they said, be two or three weeks, you know, just two or three weeks. We get the dozer down, we get over there. And that's transpired all summer. I talked to them yesterday and uh, I guess he may be the co-owner, or he may be, I don't know, he's uh, over this uh, department of cleaning up and grading and straightening up projects once you finish. But uh, he told me it'd probably be at least November before he could get back. And, uh, you know, this is the fourth or fifth time that I had talked to him and he told me the same time. Uh, I know you all got a lot of things coming up, and I, I don't want to bog you down here. But uh, I told him uh, uh, his name was uh, Ted, Mr. Taylor. And I, told, I said, Mr. Taylor, it looks to me like that, uh, you people, I thought you had good intentions <coughs> here, but I'm not sure. This is the fourth time you put us off. And it grew up, uh, he wanted to make just make hay off of it. Uh, but Mr. Duncan does that work and he couldn't, he has to stay eight or 10 or 12 feet away from the fence because these old stumps and, and uh, tree lands that they was going bury that's still on top of the ground. And uh, I, as far as uh, we're not trying to be a problem to the county, I mean, we just would like to see if we couldn't get it straightened up. And I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I may have, I should have, might have, should have addressed Steve or, or somebody else and not bother y'all with this. But anyway, I appreciate anything or you give us some information or the right direction for us to go. And we'll be glad to work with the county or do anything we can. Okay, I we told my son, I'm representing him. His name's Tracy M. Lindsay and he lives on Old State Road. The physical address I think is 3902 or something like that. But anyway, Appreciate anything you could do along that line. Okay, Mr. Lindsay, I'm sure Mr. Dalton and Mr. Bone will will look into it and, and see what. Bill, do you know anything about about it? Okay. Okay, I appreciate. It. I will say that Billy, he came out and looked at it, and, and you know that's back in the spring, early part. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Well, we'll see what we can get done. Thank you, Mr. Lynch. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, anyone else <coughs> might speak during citizen time? Hearing none, I'll close citizen time. Uh, we we'll move right on into agenda. Uh, approval of the July the 14th minutes. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion we approve the minutes as presented. I have a second. Second. Dean, discussion, correction, or changes need to be made to the minutes. Was, was there some change yes, that we uh, got Mark, this? Do oh, okay. what? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Does anyone have any questions?
I can... Well, does that need to be added to the minutes that they were present? I know they, they, they voted at the end. be best we had that they were present at the closed meeting. So we're amending the motion to yeah, include I'll that? I'll go ahead and amend my motion to approve the minutes with that one uh, inclusion. Clarification. Do I have a second to the amended minutes? Second. Any more discussion, corrections, or changes? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Housen? Aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Mm -hmm. Motion passes six with one absent. Payment of invoices. Entertainment. I have a second. Second. Any invoice, any board member would like to discuss? <coughs> Hear none of the roll call vote, Mr. Horney. Aye. 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 Uh, next on the agenda is presentation for George Wood High School track team. And I have a proud dad over here that I will let do the <laughs> honors of presenting the resolution. Meredith? Ms. Storms, would you like to come up for Abby? Oh, chicken. <laughs> it's embarrass your child day. <laughs> no, you can come up here. <laughs> all right, these kids are fast and can jump, and in fact, it's very difficult to get them all together in one room. So, football has started, so the coaches could not be here. Band camp has started and all the fall stuff, so she was the only one that wasn't doing anything. <laughs> uh, as a father, I was able to watch this team of five girls from middle school up do the unthinkable and compete against schools with 30 and 40 girls and uh, compete admirably so that the opposing coaches at the end of the state meet came up and had their picture taken with them. So, that being said, whereas the George With girls track team competed a spectacular 2014-2015 season, and whereas the George With high school girls track and field team advanced to the Virginia High School League Group 1A State Outdoor Track and Field Championship, and whereas the George With high school track and field team surpassed the competition, earning the designation as Virginia High School League 1A State Outdoor Track and Field Champions for the second year. And whereas the, the team members, Meredith Willis, won individual state championship titles in the 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, and triple jump, shattering the previous state records in two of these events. And whereas Tyra Hedgepeth, Bree Lampkins, Abby Storms, and Meredith outran the opposition to a first place finish and state championship in the girls 4x100 relay. And whereas the Georgia with High School girls track and field team completed an extraordinary season and displayed outstanding dedication, athletic ability, and sportsmanship. And whereas the With County Board of Supervisors officially commends the Georgia with High School girls track and field team comprised of Jasmine Harbor, Tyra Hedgepath, Bria Lampkins, Abby Storms, Meredith Willis, Coach Brandon Blankenship for their exemplary 2014-15 season. Now, therefore be it resolved, with County Board of Supervisors present this resolution to the Georgia with High School girls track and field team in recognition and appreciation of their achievements and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be incorporated 
into the official minutes of the Wythe County Board of Supervisors. Did you get your picture, Martha? Uh, Steve? 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 I'm not going anywhere. Wait, could oh, you get Meredith yeah. back up for a, a picture? I don't think Mom quite got it. <laughs> if you would buy her tennis shoes to run in, she'd probably run fast. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that <laughs> She's got more experience than you, Steve. <laughs> Much. <laughs> ah, great. Mm -hmm. I know Steve is proud and the rest of us are proud and very uh, appreciative of all that the track team and the, all the sports has done at George Wilson in the past <laughs> several years. And it will retreat. <laughs> okay, moving right on the agenda unfinished business. We have the Wythe County. Oh, that's right. Got. You want to make a motion? You want to make a motion? We so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we better do it official here. <laughs> Any discussion? <laughs> do a roll call vote, Dr. Houston? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Resolution passes. Now, in the unfinished business, we have uh, the Wythe County 2015-01 uh, electronic summons. <coughs> Uh, request for clarification. Uh, we put the S general district court and circuit court, but we didn't name juvenile and domestic in the in the ordinance. Well, it was discussed in the meeting. The address version got signed. Didn't have it. Didn't have that addition. I would have heard the county attorney would have wanted to have another public hearing. each clerk prior to that in the bottom paragraph. And he, he's a, that might be here but I'll get home, but uh, I would say generally it, to be overly cautious, you re-advertise the public hearing to amend the ordinance and have that in there just to make sure it's included. Versus just adding it, you know, just changing the ordinance saying that that's what we intended. I mean, one sign is the one that's officially the ordinance. That okay, Mr. Dalton, can we add a public hearing on uh, August the 25th? Any board member have any questions about the ordinance or what we're having another public hearing to clarify? Okay, hearing none, uh, we run along the general reassessment uh, meeting schedule for August the 26, 2015, and that's Faye and Mr. Dalton and myself. Yes, we will have a contract, we'll start negotiating that day. Uh, the contract will start on Anybody have any questions? If anybody's got anything special uh, concerning that, at the next board meeting, uh, you will have a copy of the current land use ordinance. Uh, we'll discuss and uh, go through and see if there's any changes from the 2017 reassessment. Because we'll have to have a public hearing to modify that too. Okay.
Okay, next on the agenda's rule retreat late contract meeting schedule for August the 18th, 2015. That will be at, at Marion DGIF headquarters. Tom Hampton, I think, DGIF, the land agent from Richmond, and our community leads, Mr. Hale, and myself. I'll go. What time is it? Okay. Unless Mr. Houseman wants to go to his district. I, I, it doesn't matter. I'll be glad to. Uh, this is about uh, when is the when is the contract? I mean, or the the lease officially? It's August the 18th? Yes. What time? Uh, he said he'd send an email. Oh, okay. I believe it's 10 a.m. We're meeting up with Marion. Okay. I mean, I'll, if, if you, yeah, you, you can. if you want to direct me to go, I'll, I'll be glad to go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, update on county administrative search. That's myself. Um, we have, um, went through this first round of interviews. Uh, we're in this week, we're doing the second round of interviews. And uh, we'll finish them up today. And then the board will uh, be reconvened, recess today and reconvene on Thursday at uh, five o'clock, 4.30. And uh, to discuss and go over the candidates that we've interviewed. And that's our update on the county administrator search. Uh, Mr. Dalton, we have anything else under other under unfinished business? Okay, moving on to reports. Have the treasury report from Mr. Sam Crockett. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Sam. Sam. $7,000 worth of penalty and $196 worth of interest. 
we could get a total of eight hundred and seventy three thousand seven hundred forty five dollars worth of delinquent tax penalty and interest this year. So that's pretty we had that one off from sale, but then we've got another one coming up in not in December, I hope. It's gonna be in December. And uh and Mr. Campbell's working on this. We sent out a Send him another batch of 25 names. He wants about 25 or 30 records at a time that he's working on. First batch did real good on those. Uh, we had our treasurer summons meeting a couple weeks ago. Two or three people showed up prior to that. We had three paid in full and four or five. Six of them came in signed contracts. That summons works pretty good. I've never tried it before, but that does work pretty good. And, so he, I sent him another list of 25 two days ago to start on another batch. So hopefully we'll get some cleaned up that way. Thank you, Sam. Anybody, Anybody have any questions? questions? Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sam. Thanks. <clears throat> now, he's remitting all the money. We have the board will have during the year when he sends a bill to amend and appropriate that to your yes. budget. Right. Just so everybody knows. You know, either go, I guess, to professional services. Line item for that, yeah. Yeah, we didn't know the exact cost of what this was going to be. No, no way, no one knows how much you collect. So during the year on the consent, when Sandy gets a bill, he will submit to the county administrator that be put on the consent and then appropriate for his professional services. Right. May I ask one question? Mr. Crockett, you were talking about sending that he said 25, 30 names at a time. I, I understand that. Is there any, is there any, um, um, Rhyme or reason to uh, to the twenty five was started. Was the most money okay. In those years, and I, I've got two stacks of delinquent taxes that I, I go through and and add them all up and look at the years. Good. And okay. Dollars. And the ones that are the most, I see them first. Okay, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Faye, I know you're not on Jim. Do you have anything? Thank you. Um, uh, school so then Dr. Perry, I don't see him here. Okay. Uh, budget committee report. Um, I'll do the budget committee report. Uh, so the budget committee met on July 23rd of 2015. We have two recommendations. The first is to make application to the With Bland Foundation for grants. Um, we have two requests and they would be ranked in the following order. Uh, the first one, emergency services uh, vehicle matching funds, and then the second, uh, the multi-purpose fields. So that's the recommendation from the budget committee. Okay, we'll take the first one up. Uh, come from committee, it doesn't need a second. Uh, I'll move forward for discussion. Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Mr. Horney? Aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Then the second recommendation is to make application for funding through House Bill 2 for the addition of exits 41 and 81 uh, to the Virginia Department of Transportation primary six-year plan. I'll open the floor up. You come from committee, it doesn't need a second. I'll open the floor up for discussion. Does anybody have any questions? Is that the right exit? Exit 41 and 81 or 80. I think we'll put more detail on that
and uh, VDOT has suggested that we make this application. It's no local dollars. It's just it needs to be an application to get on the new house bill to the planning document, which will be the six year plan. Do you want to explain exit 41? And the other exit is we're currently in the process of designing a direct link you know, back up on Pepper's Ferry Road to exit 41. And we had a letter from VDOT that said they would do the improvements in 41. Long time it's House Bill 2, which says that everything's off the table. You've got to start from the new. And this will be an application. At least get on a six year plan for fixing that interchange with uh, this next new direct link from Progress Park. Anyone have any questions? Here now, I'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Hausman? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Uh, next item is the uh, County Administrator's Report. I'll make that motion. To have a second. Second. Any other discussion? Now, as a, as a seasonal thing, I can see where that happens. Yeah. Here now, the roll call vote. Mr. Horney? Aye. 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 The chair votes aye. Do you have anything else, Mr. Dalton? I'll wait until under new business other, if I may. Okay. Uh, Board of Supervisors report. District 1, Black Lake District, Dr. Hausman. Not anything today. Uh, District 2, West Whipple. Don't have anything today. District 3, East Whipple. Nothing today, Mr. Chairman. Uh, District 4, Fort Chisels, not here. District 5, Lead Mines. No. District 6, People. I do not have anything at this time. I did have, and at large, I did have one request uh, to see if VDOT could scrape uh, Hogback Road. If I may add to your, I was out looking this weekend on some dirt road. It would, might be a great time to ask for a little chemicals to be put down on these testing secondary okay. I'll request that too. Okay. <laughs> okay, does anyone have anything I, else? I, I, I think that's something I would like this. It's I got to talk to Terry Crawford about the water. When when is the water going mixing like Yeah. You tell him, Jim? Yeah, I had forgotten about it. I was gonna say I thought Mr. I, I thought I says, saw it in his report. Mr. Vaughn says we're almost through with letter conditions. The funding and the science complete improved through the health part. It's just a one one even left to do. And Mr. McRoberts was more than happy to help with that east to get that last king. I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna tell him to call Jim 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 Jim.
Anything else? <laughs> okay, here and then we'll go into old business. Uh, I mean, new business, excuse me. Uh, we have the consent calendar. I'll entertain a motion to approve this consent calendar. I would make a motion. I have a second. I have a motion and a second to approve the consent calendar. Uh, any <laughs> other discussion? And this is the consent calendar for July the 28th, 2015. Here and then I'll do roll call vote. Dr. Houseman? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Next item on the agenda is the delinquent tax list request for approval to publish. You had the list in your board package. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve to publish. I'll make that motion to approve to publish. I have a second. Second. Okay, any discussion? So this this list is just 14. This list is only 14, and it's a, I ran the list yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any more discussion? Do a roll call vote, Dr. Housman? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. First call in the service we've already took care of. Um, Anything else under other, Mr. Dollar? Okay, here nothing else. Uh, I entertain a motion to go into closed session. I move that the With County Board of Supervisors convene in closed meeting uh, to discuss the following. As permitted by Virginia Code 2.2-3711A7, consultation with legal counsel. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? I, I, the only thing I ask, I thought you said you had something to bring up during new business. Yes, they are. Right. Okay. Okay. Do a roll call vote, Dr. Howes? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. We're now in closed session. Okay. Uh, motion to come up closed session. No, I'll make, I'll make that motion. Second. Opposed. All right. Whereas the With County Board of Supervisors has convened a closed meeting on this date pursuant to an affirmative reported vote in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information <coughs> Act, and whereas Section 2.2-3712 of the Code of Virginia requires a certification by the With County Board of Supervisors that such a meeting was conducted in conformity with Virginia law, now therefore be it resolved that the With County Board of Supervisors hereby certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements by Virginia law were discussed in the closed meeting to which this certification resolution applies and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion convening the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered by the With County Board of Supervisors. Uh, a second on certification. Second. Any discussion? The roll call vote, Dr. House. Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. So certified. Anything else we'll bring before the board at this time? Could we, uh, while he's looking for that, could we recess or could we go into closed session and then recess and just meet over there? Well, that's what we're going to do. Go into closed session here. I just wonder if there's anything we need to do in open session. Yes, there is. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I was going to bring that up. I didn't. Yeah. Scott, did you have a chance That's to ever check and find out if we can appoint somebody to the fire board? Or if if a member can be on the fire board?
did you ever find out anything about the, I, I said it was the health inspections. <laughs> I thought those were a pack of cigarettes. I thought I'd never seen him with a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> hey, Coy. He had that uh, red thing that looked like a pack of Winston's or something. It's that magnetic personality was interfering with. <laughs> You're laying it too close to the to what? To the to the box. I think it's something like that. What they were, what she was wanting to do was. What time is that? Yeah. What time is the airport meeting? They're wanting to make it like an awards thing. That way, you know, if you if you've gotten good good reviews then or good inspections, then you'd get credit for it, sorta. Of. Where are we meeting at? I know we're not meeting at the airport. Marion uh, Administration Building. What time y'all got to be there? 11. Those don't Mr. Reeves is now a grandpa. Yep. Congratulations. Is this your first one? Yep. What took you so 3, long? 3,000 miles away. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Timothy's 27, 28. Timothy's 28. What's the name of this one? Hudson Alexander. Where did they come up with that at? I have no idea. I told him I was going to call him H.A. Uh, you know it. I know where he got to Alexander because her name is her name is Alexandria or something like that. Lauren Alexandria. We call her Alex. So. <laughs> His mother. But he's doing well. Not as fussy. <laughs> I don't think they got any sleep a couple of nights at first. And Gary, I guess while we're waiting the the, uh, the audit thing went really smooth since you weren't there to ask any questions. <laughs> well, I got an update on it uh, standing in line at the funeral home from West Pole. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're going to put the uh, presentation online, so we're going to email it to you as soon as they send it to us. Okay, good. It still wouldn't be like sitting in it. Go. Let me ask this: Is it like men straight? Close to it. Oh, well, I. The, but the one thing I will say is that uh, there were only three of us on our team, and the golfer they put with us was actually a little worse than we were. <laughs> well, you played uh, after choice, didn't you? 
Yeah. So, I mean, you only had to use that golf. Yeah, but when three of you is no good. <laughs> Surely one of the three could hit a good ball every now and then. Well, actually, we, yeah, we a lot of times had four bad shots because we had to alternate taking that, uh, uh, yeah, that, that fourth shot. I think that was about like the time me and Jerry played out the JIDA tournament. Oh. I was, I was, I was, man, maybe I ought to go get my golf clubs back out and start playing hey. if everybody's that bad. Hey, we, yeah. No, no, we weren't, which was was good. And I did hit a long birdie putt on the last hole. Yeah. I just can't, I said, it's going to be my last putt of the day. I swear the day on thing will be. <laughs> did it go through the clown's mouth or? <laughs> <laughs> well, I swear we should be we should have been playing with the windmills and and, and stuff. But no, I think. After Slug got warmed up, he started knocking the heck out of that ball. Except on one hole, <laughs> fairways were close to each other, and I saw this ball way, way out there. I said, is that your drive? Yep. Well, somebody hidden from the other. <laughs> but he was going to take credit for it. I drove right up to mine. Did you find what we were the fire session? Okay. Thank <laughs> you, search. Don't do me no good to pick it up, so I can't. I think I've already seen this. Thank you. Out of the 7,900, do you want to suggest we uh, we give to them? Gene and Gary. What, um, did I read somewhere or, or some kind of report somewhere that it, it cost maintenance? What I mean by that is mowing electricity and, and, and things like that cost. Ten thousand a year is that? Did I just make that number up, or did I see it somewhere? There's there is a figure something like that I think out there somewhere. But one of their biggest expenses <coughs> it's allowed. One of their biggest expenses is their insurance, and I don't understand why it costs them so much for insurance. Who's got it through? But I mean, the Glade Mountain Saddle Club's got. Insurance, and I mean, we've got horses, and ours is nothing compared to what they're paying. Maybe they're still paying insurance based on the fact that they would have rides. I don't know, but they also have. I think they've got like three different insurance policies. They've got one that covers people at the events. They've got one that covers the the buildings, and then they've got another one that covers the directors. So, I mean, I don't know. Somebody told somebody said if they were an LLC, they wouldn't have to have the insurance on the directors. Well, they got they got to be a five hundred one three C because when you leased it to them, that was part of the agreement. And you can't give money to anybody except the nonprofit. So are they non? Do they, do they still have their nonprofit status? I could not tell you that. I I won't make a wild guess that they do. I know there's certain things you have to do. I mean, you still have to. A lot of tax forms. If they're not. Well, I, 
Matthew, which one? Matthew Miller is, and or I think Matthew Miller is, and Matthew Hildreth both are, I believe. I want. I don't know. Do you all read the retreat minutes, town meetings? Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna share this with you. On the, uh, this, uh, they were talking, and in, in, uh, Tim Witz asked uh, about a report on the Fiddlers Convention, and so this is this is what it says. Councilman Hash asked Councilmember Lloyd how the Fiddlers Convention turned out. Count, Councilmember Lloyd explained the rain hurt the event but he thought the Fair Association broke even, even though they didn't receive money from with County. There was a good crowd on Saturday, and it did go smooth. Should be Lee, but... Uh, Council Member Lloyd explained participants came from Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, West Virginia, New York, and South Carolina. He stated he also announced the sponsors for the event and announced the town of Roy Treat donated $2,000 and with County gave nothing which is irritating to me. Did they ask? Not, I don't think they asked this year specifically for the Fiddler's Convention. Now last year they did, didn't they? Didn't well, we I mean, give them money for the Fiddler's Convention? We gave them 2500 bucks and town didn't give them anything last year. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they did come in budget time and ask for money. Yeah. But that's mm -hmm. the only time they've asked. Mm -hmm. But they didn't ask for an amount during no, the budget time. But when when was the Fiddlers Convention? Because I July fourth. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was going, I started, I was thinking it was in June, and I was going to say, well, you know, it technically was before we even finalized our budget. <clears throat> All right, I'm I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a a, a a a motion, or y'all want me to explain the motion before I make it? Make it, didn't you? Finish? Okay, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to make this motion that we give for one year, this year, Retreat Fair Association $10,000. And, and, and then I'll explain why. And it can be voted up or down. I, you know. I have a second. I'll second it. All right. Now, now, now my, my reasoning for this is, as I said, you know, one year. You know, we are trying to encourage people. This is stupid stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, but it, it does build a little ill will. I uh, and I know that you all know as well as I do that you know the towns and the counties. Even though you get along okay, there's still a little bit of animosity, you know, between them. But the reason I'm saying ten thousand dollars for one year, I'm not not a yearly thing, but you know, but for this year is that. They have reorganized. They've got new people in. They are apparently making an effort to, uh, uh, you know, to make the fair association go. Not just the fair, but the fair association. I know that we, you know, that, uh, that you know, that they have the land and, and that sort of thing. But if we give them ten thousand dollars this year and we say, okay. This is basically enough to cover your, you know, uh, your operating costs, not the special events where you should be bringing in money, but operating costs for one year. So this will give you all a buffer for one year to show what you can do if you can actually turn it around and if you can make it a profitable, uh, a, a profitable endeavor. I didn't see an email. Still a 501c3, and she says, "Hi, no, we are not. We are getting the paperwork together for next year." That's what I was afraid of. Probably had nobody kept it up. And they filed the tax. One of the. So. How is, is it illegal for the town or tree? <laughs> All right. Well, just well, let, I'll, them, let them know that, you know, until they... I'll amend that motion that when they receive a 503 
501 501-3C that we uh, uh, yeah we allot ten thousand dollars for one for one year. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a second on the amendment of motion. Yeah, I'll second it. Now for for more discussion. What we're gonna do when Max Man of Rule Ten comes in here wants ten thousand dollars I I I'd say we that we you know we take it as um, uh, as each event you know comes. I'm not I, I'm I'm not uh, you know saying do this to the exclusion of uh, uh, you know of everything else. I am, and I'm not talking about uh, a, a yearly uh, uh, a yearly thing. I'm uh, talking about you know one time to say all right you all say that you're trying. We're gonna, yeah, you know, we're gonna help and give you the opportunity to succeed. If you succeed, that's great. And if not, we're not, uh, uh, yeah, that's not, uh, that's not a yearly stipend. Why not make them a loan of ten thousand dollars? Because the county can't loan. We money. can't loan money, Kim. No. We give them a small business loan. Joint idea revolving account. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they sent a budget. I'm gonna say I've been told they did. Jordan Hall. Jordan. So I remember Cheeseburger coming and talking. They're locally, they'll get they're, people they, there. They're good. That's actually a cheap price for that band because after they agreed to come to the to this, they've gotten a recording contract, if I'm not mistaken. They're local. I mean, they're yeah, real treat guys. Right. But you still are competing against them. I mean, are we are we giving any money other than Chautauqua, and should we even give Chautauqua? I mean, you put back in what forty thousand back into the, our budget, the board of supervisors from that eighty thousand, but we haven't we haven't give any out to the nonprofits yet. Criteria that you're supposed to, to 
provides. So we have a, any more discussion? I don't forget we had a motion on the floor. I accept. I, yeah, I make that as a motion. If it doesn't pass, it doesn't pass. I understand that. But, uh, uh, yeah, and if we need to yeah, set criteria, we set, yeah, set criteria. But I think that uh, if we've got a group in Wythe County that even if they are loosely organized, maybe they'll, you know, yeah, they will get uh, more organized because I gotta tell you, and please don't take this the wrong way. We were dealing with a loosely organized group when we were started to deal with this uh, Ag Expo Center. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it was beyond loosely organized, and we we're in the process of spending, you know, trying to spend 1.3 million dollars and then get, you know, grants, uh, you know, for for all that. So, if we're just talking about loosely organized, you know, people, I, I don't, I, I don't think that that's a criteria for saying no. I, and right, and I'm not advocating any money to them, you know, for until uh, you know their uh, their tax exempt status. I think right now, for me, I, I would probably feel more comfortable that they did that because you said, I mean, we all we have is a text message or an email. But next year, I mean, does that mean 2000? And I don't know how. I, I sent her back a message on that just to ask her. And she said that Mike Sobey is on their board and he is working with them on getting that. I was going to say, if it takes as long as the fire, Speedwell Fire Department did, it'll take a while. Well, well Mr. Chairman, I'll call for a question. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Will you restate it, please? Yeah, that, uh, uh, you know, in an effort to help jumpstart them, that uh, for one year, we uh, uh, we want Retreat Fair Association ten thousand dollars to cover their operating costs when and if they achieve uh, nonprofit status. And your you, and Gene seconded. I'll do a roll call vote, Mr. Horney. Can I ask a question before we vote, <laughs> real quick? <laughs> Sorry, but. Does there need to be a stipulation on there of a certain time frame? I mean, like a year, five years, or is this something that's... Well, by law, whatever his motion is, it's within this year because once you get mm -hmm. another fiscal year, Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, I just wanted to make... clarification for you. Not. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't something that was going to be... Continue Hang on for 20 yeah. years down the road, and then somebody comes back and says, Well, y'all said you'd give us this well, when we got it. Board One board can't right. A, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Ah. No. 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 Ah. Ah. Motion fails. No, it's time. Well, it goes to the next meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else for you? before we go back into closed session? Sorry, I I'm not because it gave us some clarification. Okay. Uh, I entertain a motion to go into closed session for personnel. All right, I, oh yeah. you have to read this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll make, do you mind if I do it? Right. I'll move that the With County Board of Supervisors convene a closed meeting uh, to discuss the following. As permitted by Virginia Code 2.2-3711A1, personnel matter involving consideration or interviews of candidates for employment. I have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are now in closed session.